Chris Fedor of The Athletic writes, Karis LeVert staying in town? The Cavs are interested in re-signing Karis. When the Cavaliers traded for Karis LeVert ahead of the 2022 NBA trade deadline, it wasn't just to aid their playoff push that season. The Cavaliers traded for LeVert with the intentions of keeping him in Cleveland long term. However, despite the opportunities they had to trade LeVert ahead of this uh, trade deadline during the current season, we saw that they kept him. Cleveland held on to the wing score. Now with Levert the set to become an unrestricted free agent, the Cavaliers would like to re-sign him to a multi-year deal. Playing in a more high-powered lineup this season, Levert has seen his shots drop, but his efficiency rise. Levert's averaging 11.9 points for the season, his lowest since his rookie year. But Levert is shooting career best 37.6% from the three-point range. And in the month of March, he's averaging like 15 points, almost 50% from the field, over 40% from three. He's also adding for the season a solid four rebounds and four assists in 30 minutes a game, mostly off the bench as their sixth man. So I think Levert's impact can't be understated. And I think he's definitely somebody that this Cavalier squad should retain because he is a, a guy who definitely moves the needle for them. I, I think it is, you know, a matter of how much the cost is going to be. If they can give him a similar contract to Bogdan Bogdanovich, the, what was it, four years, $72 million deal, that's not a bad deal. I, I can get behind that deal, and I definitely think it's interesting to see how it all plays out, because I, I do like Karras. I do like Karras. I think he's an important player for the Cavaliers, and who's gotten better with every season, like a fine line. I mean... And I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, this guy's going to be the reason why they win a championship. Nah, all right. I think he's definitely going to be someone who moves a needle and really gets himself down the, you know, gets himself through the clear. Maybe, maybe I'm stupid for thinking this. I think paying him would be the smart thing to do for this squad. And it's the least that they could do for a guy like Karis LeVert. So... I want to hear your guys' thoughts, all right? What do you think? I think it's definitely interesting when you look at it. And Karis LeVert impact is underrated, incredibly underrated. And I think he's somebody who could really help a team make a push in the playoffs. And it makes sense why, if you to believe that, because... He was a guy who was drafted, what now, four, seven years ago. It feels for, like forever. I mean, this guy's a talented basketball player who's played well, in, in, you know, for the Nets, for the Pacers, for the Cavs. And he's he's a guy known for his versatility, athleticism, and the ability to score from different areas on the court. He's a three-level scorer. And Levert's impact on the Cavaliers has been significant since he was traded to the team from the Indiana Pacers last trade deadline. And he immediately became arguably one of the, you know, the top options off the bench. And for me, I just think you got to look at it and understand that this is going to be something that's going to continue to get better. And I think if you can give him a good contract, a decent contract, I think he's, his ability to create for others, he's a solid playmaker, all right? And for his career, I think, what, he's averaged like four assists and... I just feel like this is the type of guy that people don't realize how impactful he really is. And he's not a bad defender. I'm not going to say he's an elite, but he makes an impact on defense that can't go understated. So let me hear your thoughts down below. That's it for me.